The M1129 Mortar Carrier is a member of the Stryker family of armored vehicles. It is supports infantry operations in complex terrain and urban environments. First production vehicles entered service with the U.S. Army in 2005. This artillery system is used by Stryker Brigade Combat Teams. Currently, the U.S. Army is the only operator of this artillery system. The M1129 is fitted with an M121 120mm mortar. The same mortar is also used by the M1064 mortar carrier which is based on the venerable M113 tracked armored personnel carrier chassis. The M121 is a version of the Israeli Soltam K6 120mm mortar produced in the United States under license. It fires a full range of ammunition, including high explosive, precision guided, dual purpose, smoke, illumination and infrared illumination shells. This mortar fires from the mounted position within the vehicle. It fires through roof hatches that swing open at the top of the vehicle. If required, the 120mm mortar can also be used dismounted. Maximum range of fire is 6 800 meters. Rate of intense fire is 16 shells per minute, however rate of sustained fire is 4 shells per minute. A first shell can be fired within 1 minute from traveling. 60 shells of ammunition are stored inside the hull. Armor of the M1129 provides all-round protection against 7.62mm rounds. Add-on ceramic armor tiles can be added for a higher level of protection. With add-on armor fitted, this vehicle provides protection against 14.5 mm rounds. Undercarriage of this vehicle was designed to survive mine blasts. Interior is lined with Kevlar liner, which protects the crew against spalling. Vehicle is fitted with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. Striker employed in combat zones are fitted with a slat armor, which provides protection against anti-tank rockets and missiles. This artillery system is fitted with a battlefield information management system which links up with other similarly equipped vehicles and command posts. It also has a digital fire control system with integrated navigation, self-positioning, and aiming systems. This fire control system can operate in automatic laying mode once it receives target data from an observation position. <laughs>